What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Cuba. So, y'all, this is episode one of my moving series. If you guys have not seen my previous video, go back and watch that. Click the link in the bio and watch my empty apartment tour. So, I went ahead and did that video yesterday, which was February 16th. Um, today is Saturday, February 17th, and I am doing episode one. So, in this video, y'all, really... All of today, I'm gonna be doing um, like really moving in like my big stuff. Like I have my bed frame coming, I have my mattress coming and anything else that I had in storage that I had already purchased and just didn't have the space for. I'm gonna be showing you guys as much as I can because it's gonna be very, very hectic today. I have some family members coming in to help me as well. So it's gonna be very hectic and I'm gonna try to record as much as I can, give you guys a little updates and I'm definitely just gonna be showing you guys the process throughout the entire week and a month because moving is not a quick process y'all it's gonna take a while to get every little thing that i want in this unit but today y'all i'm going to be doing some more cleaning i started cleaning yesterday uh the floors are already vacuumed um but i'm gonna go in and pretty much wipe everything down um before they bring stuff in get this going and like i said y'all it's gonna be a busy day, but we're gonna, we're gonna do what we gotta do, period. finished taking everything at the U-Haul truck. I'm out of breath. They might as well hire me as a uh, construction worker, a handyman, whatever. I'm in a moving company because the way I was carrying that stuff on my back, carrying half of the bed frame, like I'm really strong for real. Like, don't, it's, yeah. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys the U-Haul truck, what it looks like now. Um, I still have a couple of little things in my car, but it's like nothing. So I'm not gonna, get that out right now but i'm gonna show you guys how the u-haul truck is looking i took a break from cleaning so i could um help my dad so look y'all absolutely nothing besides this little tray i'm gonna spray paint this um but yeah literally nothing like i really did that like yeah i'm gonna tell y'all literally out of breath i took a break from cleaning i took a break from cleaning so I can help my dad take this stuff out so and I don't have a lot of stuff so we didn't need to hire nobody everything that I have wasn't too too heavy besides like the headboard and the sound system and the TV and stuff like that but that's nothing so yeah y'all we did really good I'm gonna grab this little tray right here and I'm gonna lock this up and then we're gonna go upstairs and start probably setting up the bed frame the mattress is getting delivered it should be here in like the next I don't know because they're coming from another city. So I, I really don't know when the mattress is going to get here. But when they get here, they're going to bring it upstairs. Because I'm not carrying nothing else. And neither is my dad. We both out of breath. We tired. <sighs> Y'all, it's crazy. It's so crazy. I was thinking about going to the gym this past week. But baby, this, this is this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm good. I got my workout in for the week. So... Yeah, y'all. So, I'm going to get back to y'all. Um, I'm going to try to vlog as much as I can. I'm going to pick up when I can. And I'm just going to clean up and kind of do, like, some more montages uh, for the meantime. Because it's just a lot going on. So, I'm going to get back with y'all in a little bit. Peace. Shit away. I'm just trying to get my people straight. 
was loud. We got some more updates. Um, I got my mattress and my box spring put on the bed. So I'm gonna show y'all that. Oh, I almost ran into that wall. So this is how it's looking. Let me come back this way. Yes, yeah, so I do like my bed high up like this. So there's like two levels, something underneath here. Then I have the box spring. Then here's the mattress. I feel like I can't even think straight. Like that's just how tired I am. I've been up since eight o'clock this morning. We've been ripping and running, doing all this stuff. But yeah, so I'm gonna go to Walmart um and get some last minute stuff i had my dad bring some stuff as well and i'm gonna show you guys these chairs i got that are gonna go on the side of my couch so let's flip this real quick so i got these velvet chairs they are so nice there's three of them so i got these three what i'm gonna do is when i order my couch i'm gonna have like a beige couch it's gonna go right here and i'm gonna have Two of those chairs on the side and maybe one over there. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but boom. Three of these. Um, and I'm going to, you know, I like the little contrast of the colors. So that's going to be that. He went ahead and set up my Sony um, sound bar. It has so many different things. Like I have Bluetooth. I connected it to my phone so I could blast music. And then it'll be connected to my TV. He didn't bring my TV today. He's going to bring it tomorrow because he just couldn't fit everything in his truck after he returned the U-Haul. So everything is really cool and then i got my base system right here everything set up um so we got that he brought me my bar stools that are going to go on the edge right here i have one two three four of them i really like them this is like the main vibe of my apartment and then i got some more pillows and stuff like that yeah i'm just sitting out in my bed right now but i just be having these moments like like, I can't believe I'm really here right now. There's so much that has gone on in these past couple months, y'all. And I'm on my phone. I'm on FaceTime. But, y'all, there has so much that has transpired and gone down. And things that have taught me things and led me to where I am today. You know what I'm saying? I have, like, I don't know. My relationship with God has literally tripled in these past couple months and excuse my language but i'm just so beyond blessed and i just had a moment where i was just thanking god and you know what i'm saying it's just crazy it's really really crazy like i had to learn to have patience and i had to learn to like let go and not wanting to like rush god you know what i'm saying because everybody you know you have things that you want on your timing but at the end of the day that's not how that's not how god works that's not how the universe works and sometimes you just, like, you have to like get yourself to let go and give and truly give something to God. Once you truly give something to God is when he's like, okay, you've learned your lesson. Boom, here you go. Like that's literally what it is. And that's also how manifestation works too. Like I most definitely can say, however people want to put it, manifest manifesting it or praying for, you know what I'm saying? I manifested where I'm at now. Like to the T about everything that's in this unit and everything soon to be in this unit. Like I have asked God for, I have wrote it down, I have put pictures of it in journals and I have literally, I'm literally touching it now. Yeah, it's just so much that um, God has been doing in these past couple months and it really hasn't been long. Like, like I really started this journey of praying about this since uh, like December and now we're in the middle of February. It's crazy it's so so crazy um and i've been keeping everything to myself i haven't been on youtube or on social media posting about anything that i'm starting to do because anything that you want to do you need to keep it to yourself like obviously tell people that you might trust but sometimes it's just best to keep things to yourself until it comes into fruition because you never know who may not want you to, su to succeed you know so or there's people that might feel like you don't deserve to succeed or you don't deserve to grow and move forward. So keep things to yourself and in the circle that you truly trust um, and around people that you know want to see the best and have the best for you. So that's something that I learned too. I mean, I've always known that. I've always been kind of paranoid about, you know, new endeavors and opportunities that I have because, because there has been so many new opportunities and things like that that I have and I'm excited to share and move forward about, um, you know, yeah, so literally everything's just been 
amazing and just know if you want something you pray about it write it down draw it print out a picture make a pinterest board make a vision board all of that but don't swallow it because once you once you like absorb something a little bit too hard or too much to the point where it can't breathe like think about it like this you have a pet and you're squeezing the pet you're damn near suffocating it it has no room to breathe so if you're holding it and trying to control it so much god has no space to do what he needs to do so you got to let go you know what i'm saying you can let go little by little i know it'd be hard but once you do that like you're now giving it to god and you're telling god in the universe that you trust them with with what you want in life and know that what what you want so bad you want it that bad because it's already yours you just got to obtain it you got you're just waiting for it to arrive in your hands you know but literally once you learn that and you master that like everything is a breeze moving forward everything just starts happening starts rolling and you're not even doing much you're not even putting as much energy as you were before because it's already yours and it's just gonna flow into your daily schedule daily routine daily life you know what i'm saying but yeah y'all so it's just it's just crazy i be having those moments and i knew i was going to eventually sit down and vlog that um and vlog me talking about that because it's crazy like it's literally crazy it's very very crazy and it's a very very huge life lesson that i will always remember and you know i'll move forward with the knowledge that i have now with everything i really really feel the support around me and everything like it's just crazy like the support yeah the support system like i don't know it go crazy it go crazy and there's nothing wrong with doing everything by yourself if you don't have the support system you be your own big sister and your own big brother and you support yourself and you do what you got to do like you know what i'm saying your highest self is always a brother or bigger sister to you know like to you so keep that in mind when you feel like you have nobody else because you do and angels cannot be seen like but they're always around you so you got to keep that in mind you're never by yourself never if we had the goggles that we could have to see angels and stuff like that around us you'd be surprised you'd be surprised so yeah but that's all i wanted to come here and talk about i'm gonna get um ready to go to walmart um and it's like below freezing let me see let me see what it's really saying i say it's below freezing it's really not below freezing but it feel like it is um let's see i gotta check it's 38 degrees y'all shower curtain so what i'm gonna do is these are gonna go on the inside of the tub and i'm gonna get some taller a taller rod and some taller curtains that do exactly what these do open up so i really do like this feel i feel like it looks really really good and my bamboo shower caddies right here in this soap uh holder from ikea so this is kind of how everything is looking i'm gonna try to back up as much as i can so y'all can see the vibe yeah and i'm gonna keep adding to it and it's gonna get renovated you know what i'm saying and it's gonna be that so probably gonna get the rod and the curtain to go up there tomorrow um and yeah i went to this place called cb2 i don't really know what it stands for um i forgot somebody told me the other day i just forgot that fast but um 
I literally fell in love with something that I saw actually on another YouTube video and then I ended up seeing it more on like Pinterest and stuff like that but I fell in love with it so boom I went to CD2 and I got this soap dispenser y'all like this is literally perfect like it's also pretty big it's bigger than the normal size the normal sizes are normally like this tall and you really probably can't tell you know what I'm saying like on here but I'm telling y'all like this is a really really good size and then on top of that it's this matte white color I fell in love with that because I really want that aesthetic in the bathroom and it's giving it so yeah I like this and it also came with this um container with the top on it it's the same type of material that that matte paint look um and it has this top and i like these because they're heavy and bulky and it gives like a very very expensive vibe versus having something that's kind of like white and a little bit more plastic and you know easy to break all right let's get this open i love this already so like i said y'all the the left side um where my chair is is for my vanity and i definitely had to get a like a little individual mirror for it yeah this shit Pressure. This shit pressure. This shit pressure. Like, oh my. Okay, I'm gonna have to flip the camera so you can see how it looks like. Hold on. Y'all. Look at this. It's huge. Like, literally, this is. This is huge. I love this so fucking much. Like, this looks so good right here. It's big, but like, this is gonna be so nice. I'm gonna have it. Probably keep it like pushed back or something. Let's, let's see. I'm gonna play around with it. Oh yeah, I'll keep it at an angle like that. Yep. So you know I got my little chill. Boom. And yeah, like I'm gonna be doing my angle like this. Hey y'all, so it is currently Sunday, February 18th. Um it is 127 in the afternoon and I'm up and moving. So I'm gonna pop you guys up right quick. Okay. So last night, y'all, it was like so much going on. I was ripping and running to like Walmart. I went to Walmart twice yesterday and then I went to Target um, last night and got some things that I needed. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I wanted to do it last night, but it was just too much going on. And I have my Crusher Evo headphones because I'm telling y'all these y'all don't know about these headphones like I was gonna try to invest in some um the Apple ones but first of all I need some I like my music with a lot of bass so these you can actually adjust the bass on the back of them like with this little nozzle and I just love it like literally like my my whole head be shaking like and I really be feeling the bass, like that's what I be liking. But I just had these on because I was listening to music while I was getting ready and stuff. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys some of the things I got um, from Walmart and Target last night. Um, some of the stuff I already have, I just kind of got more of it. So yeah. So first of all, let me show you these plates. I already showed you guys that I got some of these from Walmart. Let me pick it up. You can really see it. And it has like this gold tram on the side. I don't know if you can really see it. You probably can't, but it's like so freaking nice. I'm literally obsessed with these. So I didn't have the plates. I had the bowls and um, like a cooking pan. So I went and got four of these plates, as you can see, four of them. And I just really like it for my aesthetic because I do have a lot of black and white and then hints of beige and gold. So that's gonna hit. And I'm thinking because I have four bar stools, um, I'm gonna put these like out, um, you know, in front of the bar stools on the counter. So we got four of those. And I had three of the bowls originally, but I went ahead and got a fourth one because I have four bar stools, so I need four. It just has to make sense. And then I'm I'm so big on like having even numbers of stuff. I don't know if that's like me being OCD, but I don't know. But yeah, the bowls look just as nice. Like I don't know. 
I just fell in love with these. How can you not like these? So, um, and I think I already showed you guys that I have this as well. So, yeah. But if I haven't showed you guys this already, I do have these two things. I got them from Ikea. I think they were like $8 a piece. And it has like, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's kind of kind of light right here. But yeah, I like this for my laundry supplies. I'm gonna put the little laundry um, beads in here and then like the softener in here. And I have to order some of the uh, labels for the laundry and bathroom stuff. So I need to do that today too, off Amazon. But I think I already showed y'all those things, but I wanna show you these two things that I got a while ago. Like, this is a vase. So yeah, you can see. I fell in love with this. It just gives like modern. And so I had to get the other one because I feel like it didn't make sense just to get one and have it by itself. I had to get two, rather that's them being right next to each other or in different spaces. Um, I had to get them because it just corresponds. A lot of the stuff that I got, I got in pairs of two, um, just to kind of give more of a balance. This came from Walmart. You can kind of close it or open it, you know, however you want to do it. I like this because I have a lot of bamboo style stuff in here anyway. So I went ahead and got this. It's gonna fit my black silverware. I'm gonna wash this and then put it in here. And then I also got this from Target as well. This is gonna hold my seasonings and I like how it extends all the way out. I think this came from Walmart if I'm not mistaken. Now that I think about it. Cause Walmart and Target actually had very similar stuff. Um, so I couldn't even tell you. I think this was from Walmart though. And it was it extends all the way out to both ends, which I like. And it's just enough rows for my seasoning. So my seasoning is gonna go in these, my seasoning is gonna go in these jars that I have. And they look kind of big, but I got three of them, four, eight, what is it, 12? Yeah, because eight times three is 12, yeah. So it's 12 of these and there is a row for literally all of them. I'm gonna show you guys my detergent that I got. I really like this detergent. I love the April Fresh scent. Um, I'm normally a gain type of girl, but when I seen that Tide like came in April Fresh, I had to get it because I love this scent. I used to get them in like the plug in the walls all the time. So I got two of these just in case if this is too big and doesn't fit all of them because I um, got this from Ikea like $19.99 or no this was $24.99 they had a smaller one that was $19.99 but this is uh $24.99 and I like this because everything about it is metal and glass it's not plastic so I feel like it'll be easier to wash and easier and more durable to use so um I don't know if one of these is gonna fit in here it, it should maybe one and a half and I'll just put the other one in storage Something else that I got from the store, I believe I got this from um, Target, is these pink um, trash bags. I really like this. I really like scented trash bags, but the fact that I seen them in pink, like I think I seen these a while ago too, but I had to get these. Another thing I got is these, what do they call these? Grip premium for your drawers. So you can kind of put them on the bottom uh, and for your cabinets as well, just to make sure nothing is gonna fall because I probably am gonna get some glasses, um, like cup glasses and um, all of that as well. I also got this from Target. I really like this because it has like the gold handles with the white and it's a really good material. And I don't really use too many cooking um, utensils so like this is perfect like all four of these is exactly what i use i don't need nothing more okay y'all so he's in the bathroom i'm gonna show you guys what i got starting off i got this their breath um from target this is literally the best their breath um in my opinion another thing i got is the april fresh uh downy what are these called the in wash scent booster so I got a good size of them. It's pretty big. It doesn't look big on camera, but it's a 24 ounce. Um, and I think this would definitely fit in the little glass tubes from Ikea that I got. And I showed you guys. So yeah, that smells so good. Oh my gosh. Next, I got some Dove deodorant spray. 
don't know if you guys could see that but you know you get it it is beauty finish um that scent and it's a dry spray advanced care da, 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 whatever they all do the same thing even if it says aluminum free or even if it says um no white marks they all do the same thing in my opinion it just goes off with the scent but i got it obviously because it has like a little rose pink um top on it so yeah um next thing i got is this garnier um toner well they call it um micula cleansing water and i gotta go to ulta oh my gosh i gotta go to ulta it says rose water and um i don't know how to pronounce this this word right here if y'all could see that i don't know how to pronounce that but it should be good it says it's an all-in-one it is removes it's gonna remove makeup and cleansing and hydrating duh, duh, duh. they all do the same shit so all of them that i've seen or in different colors but it's literally said the same stuff on the front besides this same rose water so next thing i got and i already opened it i've been using it is this eos um lotion i've been hearing a lot of good things about eos lotion um and when i got it and i opened it i was like okay this smells so freaking good like and then it also really does moisturize your skin for real like i'm not gonna lie I used to have EOS um, chapstick growing up in my childhood and it never kept my lips like moisturized. It would just always dry up so quick. I feel like it didn't do a good job. So I always stayed away from EOS, but it's so crazy now because this is like popular as hell. I was like, you know, let me give it a try. Let me just see. And yeah, like it literally does a really good job. And the scents go crazy. Like this was the last one. I don't even know if there were other scents. Yeah, it was, but it just wasn't available. Like, this was the last EOS lotion that they had in this scent. Um, and there were no other scents available. And that was at, um, I think I was at Target. Yeah, that was at Target. So, I also went ahead and got some exfoliating um, pads, cotton pads for the face. Um, I don't really know where I'm going to put those yet. I'm going to figure it out. Um, something else that I went ahead and put in my bathroom is this this vase you really can't tell um i don't know if you can think it's gonna be really hard to kind of see the finishing yep here you go this is so freaking pretty like i got two of them and i'll show you guys like how it looks on the counter i'm gonna get some pampas to put in here um not sure what color i'm gonna do yet probably more of like a beige beige cream brown slash gold pampas to put there and i might add like a little bit of greenery in it as well um because i do want to kind of add some more colors to the bathroom but yeah so we're gonna do that i'm also gonna probably go ahead and get my tall um curtains and rod to go up here to make the, the bathroom look even bigger and to add even more color i was thinking about just adding white but I'm not gonna lie, the more I look at it, the more I'm kind of like, I might need to stick with the beige curtains because these are gonna stay. Like what I have right now is gonna stay, but they're just gonna stay on the inside and then the curtains are gonna be big. Anyways, we'll figure all that out. But that's what I have in here so far. And I'm just gonna um, show you guys how it looks. This is this side and that's the Ikea mirror that I got for like $12, it was on sale. So I put these that I have so far just to kind of see if I wanted more greenery. And I do like the light color green. So I will probably get something like that to tie in with the pampas. Um, so yeah, so I have that side and then I have this side that I have, you know, they're identical bases. So I love that. And then I threw this up there too. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I've had this um, in one of my dorms um, a couple years ago and I just never got rid of it and you know what it's coming in handy so and the um, base of it is the same material as that so it just ties it together but I do also need to get a robe um, I'm going to put the robe right here and put the towel over there so I'm going to have to figure that out um, I need to add more stuff to my list but something else that I did so far y'all I just kind of put this right here um i don't know what i'm gonna do with this this actually matches the same um like bed frame color that i have i don't know what i'm gonna do with all this i don't even know if i'm gonna keep this right here but that's that i also went ahead and put this rug right here for now i don't know where i want to put this rug i want something a little bit more symmetrical so i'm gonna go to ikea and get something that's a little bit more unique um and it has a little bit more um darker colors to add to it because the ottoman is already white. I don't want too much white 
I mean, it's a cool vibe, but it's not like what I'm going for. So yeah. And I'm probably gonna have to get more hangers because I thought I got three of these, but it's only two. Um, and they're a 25 pack. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into that and figure out what the heck, you know, where's my other one, but yeah. So that's pretty much it, you know, here's the bed and stuff. I gotta wash um, these as well and get that situated. so it's been a long day it is currently 10 10 05 still february 18th on a sunday night I'm trying to get everything together i'm currently back home i'm in the kitchen right now i just brought in some more things that i got i'm tired of shopping and i'm tired of buying stuff but at the same time it's exciting so it's just like i am so precise about certain things that i want and the way that I want them so I've literally just been ripping and running all day but y'all so I'm actually gonna end episode one here um I'm not sure how long it's gonna be but probably pretty long because I do have a lot of footage and hopefully um hopefully it ties together well but that's besides the point this is gonna be the end it is a Sunday night I have to get up early Monday morning um and I got to handle some other things. So I'm definitely going to start episode two tomorrow. which is going to be Monday, February 19th. So yeah, and I'm going to be uploading or when this video is uploaded, my empty apartment tour is already going to be on my channel. If you have not seen my empty apartment tour, go ahead and watch that video. The link will be in the description below. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in episode two. Peace.